So Vivo Philippines has just launched their newest uh, smartphone in the market and it's the Vivo V27 series smartphone. So this one is the Vivo V27 5G. We also got here the 27E which is a more affordable version. But this one, this one's quite interesting. This one is made for content creation as the smartphone comes with a 50 megapixel IAF selfie camera. There's also a Sony IMX 766V sensor. And then of course, there's the Dimensity 7200 chipset from MediaTek. There's also the Aura Portrait algorithm which improves your portrait at night shots or even at dark. So basically, the smartphone is made for photography and uh, videography, basically for content creation. But did you know that this smartphone is not just for photography or mobile photography, but this one is also great as a daily driver. Now, let's talk about it. So the Vivo V27 5G comes with a lot of camera features as expected, just like the previous generation. But uh, the most interesting one is the Aura Portrait algorithm. Basically, you go to portrait and then you tap the flash icon and then you choose the Aura Auto. So this is where the magic happens. So basically, what the Aura light does to the camera is that uh, it uses a circular LED flash over here, uh, which resembles to the ring light that we're using when you're taking a video, taking videos, photos, or uh, TikToks or whatever. And uh, with the Aura portrait algorithm, it improves the brightness and also your portrait shots. And it really, really emphasizes your eyes even at uh, dark conditions. I've noticed that my videos are brighter and better with the Aura Portrait algorithm. Compared to other LED flashes that are available in the market, the Aura Portrait algorithm of the Vivo V27 is a lot better when you're taking portraits, when you're taking a video of yourself. So this one is great for those people who love to create content for TikTok, stories on Instagram and Facebook, Reels, and uh, whatever. There's also this feature called the night portrait scene in where you could take brighter and better photos even if you are outside at night. So you don't really need a lot of lighting when you're with a Vivo V27 5G because the smartphone can handle night shots uh, with the night portrait scene. And since I love talking about content creation, the smartphone does come with a 50 megapixel IO to focus vlogging selfie camera over here. And yes, it is great for creating content. And at the back, there's the Sony IMX 766V sensor and it does a lot of magic for your shots, uh, whether that's photo or video. This is why we're getting brighter and better photos using the rear camera of the smartphone and also when taking videos. Another thing to notice about the smartphone is we got here a large display. There's the 6.78 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate. Since this one is an AMOLED panel, we got here a really good colors on the smartphone. And first, it's an AMOLED panel. This is why we're getting a really good colors on the smartphone. That's why looking at photos and videos are excellent on the smartphone. And then there's the high refresh rate with also a really good touch sampling rate. So playing games on the smartphone is not just smooth, but also responsive as well. This gives you an advantage when you're playing FPS or MOBA games, especially with those games that supports a high refresh rate. And lastly, there's the bright display on the Vivo V27 5G. So using it outside isn't a problem because this one is really bright even under direct sunlight. Now you might have noticed that the smartphone is really sexy. Well, because it is really sexy. The ergonomics of the smartphone is really, really good. It's excellent actually. I love holding the smartphone thanks to the curves at the back and on the front of the smartphone. The curves of the smartphone does really help in the grip of the smartphone, the ergonomics in, and of course, it adds to the sexiness of the smartphone. We got here the emerald green color with photochromic 2.0. Basically, this one changes colors whenever um, this one is under direct sunlight. The frame of the smartphone is too thin as well, but it is still easy to hold. And the audio of the smartphone is quite immersive as I've been using the smartphone for playing games like Ragnarok Origin and also for watching videos on YouTube. Sometimes I do not even use my headphones anymore because the speaker is already loud enough uh, to be used outside. So yes, you get here a really immersive experience whenever you're playing games 
or you're watching videos. It does help me in my day-to-day -day, uh, usage of the smartphone as I don't need to find my earphones anymore and this one is, you know, quite immersive and um, pretty excellent when uh, using for media consumption. The smartphone comes with a MediaTek Dimensity 7200 processor. It's a quite powerful processor. And as for the storage, we got here a quite large storage at 256 gigs. So installing applications and games wouldn't be a problem on this one. Actually, I haven't deleted anything yet on the smartphone despite installing a lot of applications and games on the Vivo V27 5G. But it's not just the storage. We also got here a pretty good RAM at 12 gigs. But you can add another 8 gigs of RAM with extended RAM, giving you a total of 20 gigs of extended RAM. Now, this feature isn't new on smartphones. We've seen that before, but having a 20 gigs of dynamic RAM is something that you would appreciate as not a lot of smartphones does have that amount of dynamic RAM. Since we're talking about the hardware of the smartphone, let's talk about how this one fares in gaming. Again, this one is a great daily driver, not just for photography. Now, let's talk about gaming on the smartphone. First, there's the vapor chamber cooling system on the Vivo V27 5G. It helps cool down the system or it helps cool down the smartphone even when you're playing on a longer time. If you have noticed with other smartphones when you're playing games, you might have noticed that it's too hot, you know, it overheats, it restarts. Uh, with the Vivo V27 5G, this one comes with a pretty good temperatures. I've noticed that uh, this one is cooler, this one is better than I expected when, you, when I was playing games and uh, the performance was quite consistent. There's this feature called the Game Boost Mode as well in where you can optimize your gaming experience on the smartphone and of course add some functionalities that you might probably think that is useful uh, when you're playing games including rejecting calls, blocking notifications, and of course adding um, motion control and everything on the smartphone. You could also see the CPU and GPU usage of the smartphone which is really helpful to monitor uh, how demanding your game is and uh, how is the smartphone holding up for a certain application or game. So basically playing games on the smartphone was quite enjoyable. I didn't have any problems whether that's the heavier Genshin Impact or the newer ones like the Ragnarok Origins Global. I've also tried games like PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty and even the popular Mobile Legends on the smartphone and yes it doesn't have any problems. It was quite enjoyable to use and again the thermals was quite good and the performance was quite consistent on the smartphone. So it's something that I really appreciate with with the Vivo V27 5G. And of course, gaming performance is not enough when you're running out of battery or when your charging sucks. Thankfully, the Vivo V27 5G comes with a 4600 mAh of battery and also with 66 watts of fast charging. The combination of the processor and the hardware of the smartphone does help in the battery life of the smartphone as we got through a long battery life. In my normal usage, I was getting a day even when I'm playing games on the smartphone and sometimes it even reaches up up to a day and a half. In PC Mark Work 2.0 battery test, I got here a score of 17 hours and 9 minutes. That is one of the longest uh, battery tests that I've uh, tested on a smartphone at its range. And charging the smartphone was really fast as I can charge up to 50% in less than uh, 20 minutes on the smartphone. So even if you forgot to charge your smartphone and you're running late in the morning, that isn't a problem because charging the smartphone is really, really fast. I know there's a lot of interesting hardware and features on the smartphone, but there are also some features that I want to mention as this really helps me in my day-to-day -day usage. Like I mentioned earlier, there's the ultra game mode that helps me in my gaming and performance on the smartphone. So whenever I'm playing a heavy game like Genshin Impact and I want to improve the performance a little bit, well, I've been using the ultra game mode so I could have a better CPU and GPU performance and it has optimized my uh, gaming experience on the smartphone. There's 4D vibration as well which gives you a more immersive experience when you're playing games on the Vivo V27 5G. Aside from that, the touch response on this one is quite responsive so that is something that gamers would really appreciate on the smartphone. 
So basically, the Vivo V27 5G is not just for uh, vloggers, for photographers, as this one comes with a powerful processor, a really good display, which is perfect for gamers, for everyday usage, or for media consumption. Some of the uh, features that gamers would appreciate includes the game boost mode, the uh, 4D vibration, the long battery life, and of course, the fast charging. The smartphone does pose an interesting set of features and hardware. Not only that we have here a powerful Sony IMX 766V sensor, but we also got here a Dimensity 7200 processor, 20 gigs of dynamic RAM, and a large 6.78 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate. This hardware gives off that the smartphone is, again, not just for photographers but also for gamers and for daily drivers. So if you're interested with the Vivo V27 5G, you can get this one for $24,999. But if you want something more affordable, you could go for the Vivo V27e, which is priced at uh, $16,999. So I guess that's it for our video for today. So uh, if you love this video and how I use the Vivo V27 as my daily driver, then give us a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of our latest videos here in my YouTube channel. So once again, I am Jamf Jamaline.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again in my next video.